What's good, gearheads? Welcome to Ultra Radio. Well, if it isn't the Ultra Nation, how are we all doing today? Little old Diabolica here, once again hoping you're all doing exceptionally well. If you're under the weather and got a particularly grindy cyber grind, or you're just lonely, I can help fix that. Oh, before I forget, happy 10th episode, everyone. How insane is that? 10 episodes of me just yapping off in your little ears. <laughs> Here's to 10 more gearheads. Well, what's been going on down here? Well, not long ago, it was actually the day of the Snakes of St. Patrick. So this weekend, the rivers of greed were flowing with nothing but dry stout. Demons from all over were flying in to taste the sweet Irish nectar, to celebrate or mourn the loss of the thousands of snakes that were led to their demises by that devious old bastard, St. Patrick. I actually went down there myself and had a couple of pints. Very, very, very nice. Then a couple of gluttons had to ruin the fun and get violent, so I stepped in, <clears throat> killed them both, and drank their blood, so I was thriving. I mean, come on. Dry stout and blood. That's like my ideal cocktail. <laughs> uh, anyway, a big happy snake day to all of you wonderful people who are celebrating that. Something going on in the fraud layer now. There's a band of demons going around harassing the denizens of that layer called the Alternates. They're going around mimicking people in both voice and looks, threatening people, and even going as far as to eat them. Oh my god, that sounds awful. The Malabranchi has since then released multiple forms of media to educate the people on how to stop or prevent them, and announced the creation of the Mandela Team to tackle their antics. Why do they all of a sudden care of people mimicking? voice and looks. Like, they know where they are, right? Do they know what fraud means? Someone should tell them. Anyway, moving on. Some news from Tartarus now. They're currently experiencing a surge in undead souls of monsters, ranging from dragons, wyverns, and dinosaurs. Those aren't major problems. However, the one big problem is the very, very angry monkey who has officially been categorized as near prime soul level. Oh my god, how angry do you have to be just to will yourself alive again? Pity the guy who took his banana. Anyway, in hopes of combating this, Elysium are sending in their most elite monster hunter, Crimson Ruse, to put a lid on the whole thing. Hope his anime moves are enough for a near prime soul level opponent. Shoot, I might get over there myself, get in on the action. When the son of a gun a hand. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, he don't need me. But yeah, if you're around the Tartarus area, watch yourselves, people. <laughs> That's it for the news, Phil. Now, how about we get to some more interesting stuff? Now, Alternation, when I say the words hideous mass, what comes to mind? If that answer is an amalgamation of stone and flesh, no one would blame you for it. I mean, come on, the sculptor literally just took faces and arms, mushed them together, and called it a day. Saying that, I actually have the sculptor in front of me right now. They're responsible for the creation of the hideous masses, the mannequins, and even the Minotaur. Now, said sculptor doesn't even have a name. They just go by the sculptor. Like a bad Matrix character. I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, what's the Matrix? Uh, some movie the humans used to watch. For some reason, they thought it necessary to fill me with the memories of human history. Which includes iconic media. Which is such a stupid idea. I mean, I'm a combat machine. I'm not a freaking time capsule. Anyway, Mr. Sculptor, thank you so much for coming in. You're very welcome. Thank you for asking me to come on. <laughs> right, so, uh, do you have a name? I do, but I'd prefer if you just called me Mr. Sculptor. Sort of like my stage name, you know? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so let me ask the basic question first. What was the idea behind the design? Like, was it made hideous intentionally, or was it... Is it an acquired taste? Well, you see, terms like hideous, atrocious, horrifying, and the sort... They're all subjective. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, after all. You may see a hideous mass of stone and meat covered in faces, but I see a sentinel with eyes looking in every direction. I see a mobile panopticon able to pick up any threats anywhere. The stone flesh thing was more of a tactical choice. Mm. The stone plating offers the best defense against explosives and the flesh that it rests upon. Well, it allows for flexibility that a pure stone being can only dream of. It's a flawed design, sure, but it's the best of both worlds, if you ask me. Hmm. Oh, okay, so kind of like how fighter jets had more armor in some places than others. Precisely. Wow, I'd never actually thought about it like that. 
That's interesting. That's genuinely opened my eyes a little bit there. Oh, well, I'm glad I could shed some light onto it. Saying all of that, though, I'm currently thinking of redesigns for the other creations, too, as well. Mm. Like the mannequins in the Minotaur? Mm -hmm. Funny you mentioned that, actually, because that was going to be my follow-up question. If I may bring your attention to the main face of the mass... W what about it? Now, I'm not sure you know, but... Me and a lot of Alternation think it looks a lot like Germa. Jehu? Well, that's... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's quite the coincidence, don't you think? I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah, no. I've never heard of this German 985 person. Wait, there's 985 of them? Beg your pardon? You said German 985. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did Anyway, what's the problem with the mess looking like him? Oh, no, 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 there's no problem at all. Like, I was just wondering if it was intentional, but by the sounds of it, it's not. No, no, not at all. I would never just take someone's image, alter it, and plaster it onto mine. It's just so lazy. Well, referencing is a very valid thing in the artist space, like everyone does it. Hardly plagiarism. Also, I just said it looked similar to him. Not that it looks exactly like him. Ugh, look, anyway, let's move on. Are you planning on changing the mannequins in Minotaur? Maybe a brand new creature altogether? Uh, yes, actually, to all three of those. I've actually bought some concepts along with me. If that's okay, I'd like to show it to you. Oh, hell yeah. No, no, totally. I'd love to see them. Marvelous. <laughs> okay, so here we have the mannequin 2.0 design. Oh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, you've given it a tank top and some cartoon-esque gloves. Any reason for that? Well, I remember in a story from Genesis where Adam spoke to God and said that they were naked and ashamed. When asked why they were covering themselves, God then responded with, Who told you that you were naked? I added the clothes as a little jab to the old croon, you see. <laughs> ah, okay, I get it. Like an act of rebellion? Something Vivian Westwood-esque? Precisely. Uh, how, how, how? you know about Westwood? I did a bit of reading up on her on the Hellenet. Well, that's all very well, but didn't she go to heaven? She did, but I use Hell VPN. Ah, I see, I see. Marvelous, good. Uh, wait. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. It's just that I remember a Germa stream. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Stopping it right here. This has nothing to do with Germa or his dollhouse stream. How do you know about his dollhouse stream? His what stream? <laughs> look, Sculptor. Mr. Sculptor. Shut up. Sculptor, let me just say, if you're making the stone fellas look more like German, that's absolutely fine. I've got no qualms over it. In fact, I think it's pretty funny. I love the guy's streams, his treasure hunting streams especially. Oh, God, they were so funny. <sighs> Sculptor? This has nothing to do with him. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just move on to the Minotaur. Well, no, I'm, I'm not sure I want you to look at it anymore. This is literally just a minotaur with his face on it. No, it isn't! How are you still denying this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sit here and just let you slander my hard work by telling me I'm taking my inspiration from some Jeremy Elbertson person! He just gave me his full f***ing name! Whose full name? Germa's! Whose? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Hang on, no, 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 this has to be a bit, right? This, this whole thing's a bit. This is something that the producer planned behind my back for a prank, right? <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, very dare you. Uh, what? You slander my work, telling me it resembles that of the sus guy, and then you go and accuse me of doing this all in the name of a good laugh? So this, this isn't a bit. No! Sculptor. Mr. Sculptor. Shut up. Please. Let me just say this again. What you're doing is nothing to be ashamed or embarrassed about. Taking reference from people in history, that's something that everyone does. I mean, shoot, look at my name. Diabolica. That right there is a reference to an old radio DJ that would host some shows during some sport events. DJ Atomica. Man, I love these shows. When I first tuned in, oh my god, I was blown away. The dude's so cool. I miss him. So, you stole someone else's naming scheme? Taking inspiration is something totally different from plagiarism, Sculptor. Mr. Sculptor. Shut up. So, are we clear? You're not in the wrong, nor will your work be frowned upon. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I knew that anyway, but... You know. <sighs> okay, fine, fine. Now, let's have a look at that last design. I actually have the prototype on me. He's just outside, but... 
I don't think you deserve a look. <laughs> no, don't be like that, sculptor. Come on, you already let me see the other designs. Plus, you know, it'd be a waste of a journey for the poor son of a gun to not get some screen time. Or radio time. <laughs> promise you won't accuse me of plagiarism? Never did it in the first place, but sure, go on. I promise. Okay. Come on out, Jerry. Jerry? <laughs> you have a problem with the name of Jerry now, do no, you? No, no, I... God forbid anyone with a name beginning with J comes onto your st- I don't have a problem with it, okay? Now bring the f***ing thing in! All right, all right, all right. He is. Oh. Oh, wow. Totally brand new design. Nice humanoid shape. Yes, yes, it's incredibly nimble, too. Took me a while to cram that much speed into the frame, but after a bit of spee, I managed. Huh. And no hint of Mr. Elbertson at all. Very, very impressive. He's actually capable of verbal communication, too. Oh, really? Damn. Sounds very similar to my old mannequin, Murray. Who's, who's, who's this Murray? Is he another streamer? No, 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 just an old friend. Uh, V1 got him, though. Oh, I am sorry. It's awful losing friends. Ah, don't worry. Um, would you like me to make him say something for you? Oh, please. Very well. Go on, Jerry. Talk away. Wait, you want me to talk? Just, like, talk on command? I'm not gonna do that! I'm not gonna talk because you want me to! You think you could just go like, well, I'm not bored, I'll just let me just go get my fucking stone guy and make him say something funny. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, look at me! Oh, whoa, whoa, woohoo! <laughs> no! No, it's, it's, it's stupid! <laughs> Truly the next step in stone slash flesh evolution, right, Diablo? <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh, I don't know how much longer I could have taken that. Oh, my God. Ugh. Say, Jerry. What? You want to be my assistant? No. No, absolutely not. What? You think I'm just going to be all like, oh, hello, master. Would you like some tea? After, after you just made that guy look like he went straight into a meat grinder? That's so fucking stupid. I changed my mind. V1's right. Think I'll uh, stick to stretching my legs. Right. That was the late sculptor and his late, latest creation, Jerry. God, I should start screening these guests. All right, on to more enjoyable things now, such as questions from viewers. It is time for your favorite segment, Dear Diabolica. Yippee! Hooray! <laughs> all right, let's see what you all got to say. First one is from Hollowed Out Sap, and they say, Dear Diabolica, let me out. Man, forgive me, Sap. I need a break from mannequins. God damn it. Next. Next one's from Glossia. They ask, how's hell? Well, uh, still as infernal as ever. Still as on fire as ever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks for writing in. Next one's from Don Quixote. And they ask, do you all like beans? I think beans are good. Don, are you okay, buddy? Smelling burnt toast? Oh, damn, how hard did that windmill hit you? Anyway, but to answer your question, yes, uh, beans are quite nice, especially when served with fried stray. <laughs> uh, thanks for writing in, Don. One from Artem Hutta now. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Dearest DJ Diabolic, can I just say, I love how people spell it with a C and not with a K. Anyway, moving on. I just thought that was funny. Just made it out of vacation from the treachery layer. Finally got back to the lust layer so I can ask this. I absolutely love your work. Oh, your voice module, your way to describe everything. Oh, you flatter me too much, Artem. This emotion thing inside me, forgot what was the name of it, overheats all over. I think that might be your heart, Artem. Though I wanted to replace or delete it. I don't know. Seems kind of broken. So about the question, I really haven't seen a place where machines can repair themselves. Or someone who could repair them. So where are they? Maybe I'm just being inconsiderate, but I really can't find any of these places. And it would be really helpful if you or someone other... Uh, what? What is... Okay. Someone another tell me where these freaking things are. Oh, and if you could answer this one too. What is your favorite layer in place? Or... Uh, I can't read it to the alternation. Or... And... <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, and if you could answer this one too, what is your favorite layer or place in hell? Where you love to chill? Sincerely, a very cool and trustworthy Artem the Swords Machine. Thanks for the letter, Artem. Uh, there's not that many mechanics around these parts, so your best bet is to try and scavenge around for a self-repairing module, and just uh, let that do its job. 
If you ask me, though, I would suggest going over to Hades and giving old Hephaestus a visit. But he got caught up in the whole Pantheon massacre a while ago. Damn shame, too. Could work wonders with electricity. Oh, well. Oh, and for my favorite place in hell, that might have to be the Garden of Forking Paths. I'm not gonna lie, Alternation. I am a sucker for good architecture. <laughs> and Mirage was right. Like, walking around there for a few days really does wonders for your mental health. So yeah, if you're near the Garden of Forking Paths, give it a shot. God dang dog asks, what machine do you find the most fun to hang out with? Well, ever since V1 came on, it's been him. But before that, though, God damn, that's a toughie. Because the mind flayers were interesting, but they were walking red flags. Just non-stop mind games and gaslighting. The guttermen are okay, but they just grunt and grumble like cavemen. Sword machines are probably the best out of them all, but oh my god, they are touchy. Wait, okay, so we were playfully sparring, right? Somewhere in limbo. And then I parried one of their hits, right? And they just, they just go nuts. They, they lose their shit. It wasn't a game anymore. Like, it was life or death for me. I still have sword machine friends, of course, but I am in no way in hell sparring with one again. I'd sort of throw some playful punches, you know? Not fight for my freaking life all the time. Alright. Oh, what's this one say? Dear DJ Diabolica, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess D- Ah, oh, goddamn catfish letters. I thought I told the post office to screen these better. Well, at least he spelled my name right. One from Lobotomy Gaming now. Dear DJ Diabolica. Oh, another one who spelled my name correctly. Love your show. I have to say, you're pretty charming. <laughs> Stop. I wonder, do you mainly work alone? Or is there a special someone in your life right now? Not to play Cupid, but you and V1 seem to have a lot of good chemistry. Keep the bangers coming. A shipping crazy mind flare. <laughs> V1 and Diabolica sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I'm sorry, but there's nothing there. Don't get me wrong, he's a wonderful guy, but we're just two bros. Homies. Amigos, you know? Nothing more. One from Heku? He Hisu? He Hiku? Hek I don't know. Dear Diabolica, ah, back to the seas. Do you think V1 or any other machine is hot? Someone from Lust. Oh, in terms of V1, I'd say so. Yeah, he's got a ton of features and characteristics that make him super attractive. Like, did you hear that charm when he was on the show? I can tell he's definitely broken a few hearts, though. <laughs> Vomrock says, Hey, Diabolica, un fan espanol who was trapped on limbo behind a rock asks, Who did you get this job? I imagine he means how. <gasps> did, you had to, did you have to kill someone to be there? I hope that's the case. Hope you have a good day, Senor Diabolica. Ah, muchas gracias, amigo. Encantado. <laughs> No, I didn't have to kill any existing DJs to get this spot, but where I am right now is probably, like, the best place in this area for a strong signal. Unfortunately, there's a big old tower plumped right there, and a lot of angry beasties inside. God, I'm trying to remember the uh, most iconic ones. So off the top of my head, there was this big old centipede and a breed of Cerberus that I've never seen before. Like, it was just covered in ice. There was this huge creature there as well. I'm trying to remember the exact details. Um, it had one eye, it had angel wings for some reason, and one hell of a vendetta. Kept on asking about the sons of Sparta? I don't know, but yeah, I had to clear up shop there before moving in. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> but yeah, after that, I set myself up in a tiny little room and the rest is history. There you go, bit of uh, ultra radio lore there. One last question now, and that one is going to Kazzy. Well, not Judgment Kazzy, right? <laughs> God, that'd be the day. Imagine that. Uh, anyway, they ask, Dear Diabolica, I love tuning in to listen to Ultra Radio, but I always wonder, do you have any hobbies or something you do in your free time? Now, I better go before my crew finds out that I've been listening to this station from a paladin in the Citadel. <gasps> you naughty little cherub, you. Damn, we got listeners in heaven. Well, don't worry, buddy. Your secret's safe with me. Now for my hobbies, well, when I'm not being a wacky little DJ in your speakers, I just like goofing around with my voice module. Like, I can make it sound like anyone I want, or anything. With a little practice, of course, you know. <laughs> I didn't come out of the womb playing Mozart, you know. <laughs> I'll give you an example, but please forgive me, I'm a little rusty. <clears throat> a savvy warrior uses all of their tools. Huh? <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> 
right, that was it for Dear Diabolica. Thank you all so, 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 so much for writing in. I always love reading your stuff. Now allow me to segue into the song with another question. I know, one more question, but screw it, it's my radio show. Dear Diabolica, you provide us with great music to take the grind out of our cyber grind. But I'd like to ask, which song do you like listening to? Personally, when I'm not tuning in, I'm listening to Tricky, a machine that records all of their fights in hell and compiles and edits them into songs. Would highly recommend a listen. From the machine, Green. Eh, that don't sound too bad, Green. I might have to try that one out myself. But for my most favorite song for the cyber grind, it might have to be this one. This one never fails to get the blood pump in. Like, I feel like I could take on God if he was still alive. I also play this while I'm shredding up the mountains in treachery. I'll put it on for you now. Stay bloodthirsty, gearheads. Diabolic out. Go!